right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back, and I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed weekend as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title now says Water Spirits, and I see the rain has started coming down. Well, let the church say amen. The storm is coming. Wow, it's amazing that started happening right when I did this, I mean, doing this video. But um, this is a topic that's not very popular in Christianity. And uh, y'all that know me, y'all know I teach a lot of things that um, a lot of churches won't dare talk about. But if you truly study and you on, on you are on me, then this video is for you. First of all, let me give a, a, a shout out to you, um, Lamar01. Uh, this is a very powerful email that you sent me, and I want to respond back. Cause I don't think I ever done a video on water spirits, but I've done a video with Incubus and Succubus. That kind of ties in with this also. But water spirits, uh, or some may call it marine demons. You ever wonder why it's so much that goes on underwater, you know? And some people may, may say, well, JT, that's just Greek mythology, what you're talking about. But when you truly, truly study, and I mean study and do some investigating, you'll find out it's way more to water than you think. And I know, Brother Rodney, you know what I'm talking about. It's way more to water than what we are taught. You know, water is very powerful. I can't even put enough words together to explain the deepness of water. And if it's, if there's Jezebel spirits and demonic spirits all over, then you best understand that there are evil demonic spirits working in water. But we just are not taught this. And I, and, and I tell people all the time, when you when you hear stuff like this, don't be so quick to write it off if you ain't never studied on it. Because a lot of people ask me, well, JT is water spirits for real? And I tell them in the heartbeat, yes. You know, the oceans and the waters of this earth is filled up with so many creatures. We can say it's a lot of beautiful creatures. And then it's a lot of creatures on the water that are very dangerous. They will take your life quick. But we see this stuff in these movies, and we just be like, man, that was a good movie. But a lot of times, Hollywood is exposing and, and, and showing you so much of what the Bible has told you what's coming. But if you can't get past the part that it was just a good movie, then you'll never see that in the spiritual realm that they showing you what's really going on. Just like when I talked about the Matrix. So, these spirits are very dangerous, y'all. Now, I'm going to ask you a question before I move further. Where do you think the concept of the Little Mermaid came from? Now, I want somebody to answer that. How did they come up with the Little Mermaid, you know? And I want y'all to answer that. Now, when you go back to the book of Psalms, I think that's the 146, yep, verse 6. When you go that, go back to that, excuse me. It shows you what? Heaven, earth, and then the sea. I'm going to say it again in that, in that order. Heaven, earth, then the sea. Now, catch that. Because you got three realms of a creation. So that means you got what? Strongholds. Three realms of spiritual strongholds. Keep in mind Ephesians um, 6 and 12 say that this battle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against what? Principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. This is why we can't fight this battle on our own. Now, we know a lot of things in the Bible also is it's, it's in a spiritual way. But then there are some things, too, that's physical. Or we can say literal, you know. And then when you go back to Exodus uh, 20 and 4, what did that tell us? What what about making those graven idols? Don't do it. That's why he say you shall not make yourself any graven idol or likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. All that is in the water below. I'm just paraphrasing. But go back to Exodus 20 and 4. Even in the water below. See, all of these images and things that they have created, it, it never has supposed to have been that way, you know. 
Now, I know a lot of people might think I'm, I'm crazy for doing this video. Well, JT, you talking about sea monsters. Well, that's not in the Bible. Well, is have you really studied the Bible? You know? Now, I know even in Revelation, once again, they're all, it's very symbolic. And I'm, I'm, i got to make this point. Yes, the Bible is very symbolic. But, but at the same time, the Bible also shows you a lot of things, literally. But keep in mind, there is a spirit. My brother Rodney talked us a while back. It's spirits behind everything that we do. That's why I'm saying it's spirits behind the water, you know. I'm going to say it again. It's spirits behind the water. Now, when you go to Ezekiel 29, verse 3 and 4, it says, Speak and say, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am thee. You see what I'm saying? Pharaoh, king of Egypt, the great dragon that lied in the midst of his rivers, which has said, My river is my own. Catch that. And I have made it for myself. But I will put hooks in thy jaws. And I will cause the fish of thy rivers to stick into thy scales. And I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers. And all the fish of thy rivers shall stick unto thy scales. These, these verses are so overlooked in the Bible, you know. Because it shows you the spirits that's working in water. And then you wonder why. The, the, the Most High told us, don't eat those scavengers. He told us what to eat and what not to eat. The ones that eat everything in the bottom of the sea. Why is it also taught in the Bible? Because there are spirits working in the water. Revelation 12 and 12 shows us. It says, therefore rejoice, O heaven, and you will dwell in them. But he says, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you in great wrath because he knows that his time is short. Now notice, he mentioned the earth and the sea. Now when you see most of these movies that's been out, what do you see? You see spirits flowing underwater. And, and I'm going to tie this in, even in a sexual way, this is why you see so much sexual things in these movies. Those demons... They, they become very, they don't, they don't become, they already are. They are very sexual. And they get, they get at you the best way they can, you know. Now, these water spirits, they, they heavy, y'all. Don't think, don't take this video light, lightly, you know what I'm saying. Because they are in lakes. Oh, I gotta mess with a lot of people that love to swim. I know, I'm sorry, y'all. But this is to wake us up. Because you might you might just be ignorant of some of this stuff I'm saying, but they in rivers, they in waterfalls. As I just said, they in lakes, they in seas. It could even be a little stream. It could even be a drainage. It could be a dam. They dwell in that. Now keep this in mind. Demons always need what? Something to dwell in. They need a body. They need flesh. Or they'll try to go through an animal. You see what I'm saying? This is very demonic, y'all. It's very demonic. Now, I'm, I'm going to go back to the Philistines for a moment, and, and I'm going to wrap this video up. But I might, I might do a part two. When you really study the Bible, the Philistines, or some may pronounce it Philistines, they worship the guy called what? Dagon. D A G O N when you when you study. That's what they worship. That was shaped after the after the mermaid. Why? Because it was half human, half fish. Half human, half fish. Now when you go back to Noah's day, the Bible said what? We know the ones that fell. They say they looked on the, the, the daughters of men and saw that they was fair. They had sex with the daughters of men. And what came after that? Giants. Or some may say Nephilim. 
whichever term you use. Now, this y'all y'all catch what I'm saying. I I I I know somebody know what I'm saying. Half fish, half human. Now, why am I saying this? Leviticus teaches us any man that lied with an animal was an abomination and the blood should be upon their head. Kill that man and that animal. Why was that said in Leviticus? Because they was mixing. They were sleeping with the animals. They did all. They, they messed up everything, y'all. This is way deeper than what we think. And I've taught on Noah's day, you know, which JT, why was there still giants after the after the flood, before the flood and after the flood? Water don't kill spirit. You can't kill the spirit. You can't kill a spirit, you know. That's why we have to really understand what happened. Yeah, did, did the flood happen? Yes, yeah, some people argue with that and say it didn't happen. But we have to understand this is a spiritual battle. That them souls going to be tormented. But can you really, really kill a soul? Can you drown a soul? You see what I'm saying? Think about that. You know, that's why we have to, when we are studying, we have to really, we have to really be under the Holy Spirit to teach us, y'all. You know? But, but my point is, once again, let me back back up. Because I was talking about the Philistines that worship a guy called Dagon. You know, that was shaped out to the mermaid. But, Dagon, we, we all know the story on, on Samson and Delilah. But Dagon used Delilah. We see that. That's how she really got the best of uh, not Solomon Samson. You know, those marine spirits are very seducing, y'all. They very enticing. Once again, when Satan, when Satan and one third of the angels fell from heaven, they they, they rebelled against the Most High. A lot of them landed in the sea. You hear a lot of people talk about the underworld, you know. So there's a lot of things that's going on with water that most people are not even being taught, you know. And once again, I know this video may sound stupid to some people, but there are going to be a few that understand what I'm saying. Um, because you need to know when the Bible say so many of these spirits went into the world, and you wonder why he say test the spirits by the spirit to see if they are of God. It's a lot of spirits out there. And don't think for one second that it's not it's not no spirits underwater because they are, you know. And you can watch many movies to see that. So with that being said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.